Everybody, it's Evicta. It's time for Tainted Random Run Day here in the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Sunday, Mosh Pit. I hope your Sundays are going off to a great start. We've got ourselves a banger meme slash picture of the day sent in by Jawa. Title of thread was Crocheted Isaac. They also said, my girlfriend made this Isaac for me. I really love it. I think she did a great job on it. What do you guys think? I think it looks amazing. And also shout out to Jawa for having the exact same keyboard that I do. So I, it's pretty sick. I love the DOS keyboard. Definitely my favorite. No, this is not a sponsor thing, but I mean, hey, if you if you want to sponsor me, DOS keyboard, I'm definitely down for you. So here we go. Random Tainted Run Day. It's been a little bit since we've done one, and I figured now is the time to do it. And let's see who we get on going here. Uh, oh, gosh. Uh, seven Foxtrot, uh, Bravo Mike, Whiskey 2 Kilo 4, and it's Tainted Kane. And, oh, Curse curse the Vine, too. Oh, boy. Oh, neato. All right. Well, Tainted Kane. Um... Oh boy. What can you say about this character? You know, he is a, he is, I, I feel like I've already said everything that I can about Tainted Kane, and I don't want to re retread old ground. So just know that if you play Tainted Kane, you're, you're not going to have a fun time. <laughs> um, some people do like Tainted Kane and you know, I, I think that that's cool. Um, Really, it comes down to just give us the option to turn off his passive. That's it. That that's that would infinitely increase my enjoyment of this character by tenfold. Um, because as it stands right now, Tainted Kane really only has the he he really only has like the option of looking up stuff either by way of a seed analyzer or simply just going super random, which is exactly what I, how I play it because I cannot be bothered to look at all the recipes. Um, of course, if you have the external information mod, you can see all the crafting, the bag of crafting recipes that he has. And yeah, but obviously his passive is going to be breaking stuff down. So you take all the, you take any and all uh, item pedestals that you find in, in, a ran, in a run and it turns into that, um, which is not my preferred way to play. Um, but you know, I'm I, again. I don't. I'm. I, I don't want to. I don't want to retread old ground. So I'm not going to do that. Instead, let's focus on the positive here. Um, at least we're not playing Tainted Lost. Uh, that's that's about it. That's that's the best thing I can say about Tainted Kane. At least we're not playing Tainted Lost or even Tainted Jacob. I mean, if if asked, like you know, who would you rather play, Tainted Kane or Tainted, Tainted Jacob? Give me Tainted Kane a hundred percent of the time. Um, there's the, there, there's no scenario where I would rather play Tainted Jacob over anyone, including Tainted Lazarus, Tainted Lost, um, and Tainted Kane as well. So, you know, Tainted Lost is obviously just just difficult in its own right, not because he's a difficult character, but just because you know there's so many ways for the game to deal damage to you that one hit if you don't have your holy card, your SOL. Tainted Kane is just a is not a difficult character to play. He's just a chore of a character. That's it, that. That's the nicest thing and probably the the best thing I can say about him is, is that he's he's a chore of a character to play. Um, but again, if you could if you could take Tandy Kane's passive and turn it off, it, it would make an absolute world of difference because then you have the freedom to play the character how you want rather than forced to deal with looking up lists and components and that sort of thing. Um, I don't care about any of this. I am going to turn off external information mod because again i'm going to be playing this as if someone who someone who does not have access to that um and we'll see what this makes on the next floor we get jar of flies yep i mean jar of flies is okay but the reason why the reason why I'm, I do not use the external information mod to look at look up the recipes, even though it's totally viable for you to do so, is because it's not built into the game. You know, it like let's assume that let's assume that external external inform, information mod did not exist. This is how this character would be. It would it would be it would be just like this. And uh, you know, my intention is to show like you know just how much you have to go through on Tainted Cane just to get like a passable run to go by. 
You know, now, of course, if you know anything about Tainted Cane, you know that the, the really it doesn't even come down to him. It comes down to the bag of crafting. If you know how his passive works with the bag of crafting, then you're going to be okay. Um, but just know that you're, you basically are going to be crafting stuff at random most of the time, unless if you happen to get some really rare components early on. Um, now, there used to be a way to do that. There's not anymore. Um, and that's really the crux of the issue when it comes to him. Is that all the stuff that you did have control over, you no longer have control over. And it feels, it feels bad. You get PH Dizzle, which is good. Balls of Steel, which is also going to help us out. I did not mean to use that. I was trying to use the bag of crafting. <sighs> Again, the major the major downside of Tainted Cane is just that you can't pick up any items that you see. You have to craft them uh, with his with the bag of crafting, and like we said, it, it can be it, it can be a straight up chore. So I definitely want to use the dime. The dime is a higher a higher material component that you can use for the bag of crafting. And no, I I don't think that de taking Devil Deals is really all that. As much as it's cracked up to be on him, um, again, you don't get to keep the Devil Deal items. They just turn into either Bone Hearts or or, or uh, Demon Hearts, which can be used to make de Devil Deal items for sure. Um, you know, but again, the if we if we had the ability, if we simply just had the ability to turn off his passive, it would be so 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 much better, in my opinion, anyway. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and take PJs. PJs is going to be a lot of HP. Now, one of the hardest things to do on Tainted Cane is to make Boss Rush. And uh, there's not really any streamlined, easy way to do that. Um, because, again, it, it purely comes down to how how good are the crafting materials that you get for the bag of crafting early on and what your seed gives you, essentially. So, you know, there were a lot of, a lot of complaints when Tainted Cane came out. And, uh, you know, he had the set number of... The, the set crafts that you could do. Um, you know, it, it's it, it's like this always turned into this, which always turned into this. Some people didn't like that. I didn't have a problem with it, but I definitely saw why it could be a problem. However, if you asked me, like gun to my head, if you said you have to pick one or the other, I would rather have set, I would rather have set crafting materials rather than have it be totally random. Um, and the, the main reason for that is because of what we normally see on Tainted Cane. There's no way to accurately predict what kind of run you're going to get, right? So, like, if we, I know if we need HP, we can craft this. I know if we need Sacred Heart, we can craft this. That, all of that is, it goes out the window uh, in, the, in the current iteration of Tainted Cane. Um, and that's, the, you know, that's a big deal for a lot of people. Um, yeah, there's a penny over there. We get HP, sure. HP is pretty important on Tainted Cane. You may notice that I'm not going into the shop at all. Um, that's basically because there's no reason for it. I mean, we could go in the shop, but uh, unless there's a half price sack in there or something, we don't really care. But before we go any further on this run, I want to go over to last week's question of the episode, which was, what did you think of Mom's Knife and Tiny Planet for this combo here? That was from the Mom's Planet uh, episode that we had, and a very, very strong combo. And again, it seems like Tiny Planet really brings out a lot of discussion. Um, you know, some people really hate it. Some people really love it. Again, I don't know how much influence I have over that because that's how I used to be back in the day. I used to absolutely hate Tiny Planet. And now I think it's, it's in a happy spot of... Of it's not the best, but it's not the worst. It's, it's not the absolute, you know, dog water item that it was. So the most upvoted comment came in from Metal Lix, Lixno. Lixno? I'm just going to say Metal. Uh, who said, not really a fan of it. I just don't like anything to do with Tiny Planet unless Brimstone is with it. And I I agree with that. I, I definitely understand the appeal there. Because obviously Brimstone Tiny Planet is like one of the best. But I do suggest trying at least Mom's Knife Tiny Planet. Because it is a very good combo. Um, to, to have you still get you get all the benefits of having uh, of having mom's knife but also tiny planet does a huge swirling AOE kind of vortex shot 
Okay, let's stop taking this chip damage here. Or let's continue to just take this, tip, this chip damage. It's fine, too. Forgot that Tainted Kane's damage is slightly higher at the base level than other Isaacs. Um, but yeah, I would I would strongly recommend at least trying Tiny Planet Mom's Knife. It is a good combo to to destroy bosses, and it can save you. Um, again, we, I always reference that Bethany run. Okay, you need to die, dude. Get a charge key. Charge keys are very good components. Um, they're considered one of the more rarer crafting materials. I'm going to take this soul heart because I'm not satisfied with losing how, uh, how much HP we've lost in this this floor already. You know, Jar of Flies is doing a good job too, so it's, you know, we're, we're, we're mustering it. Um, next, most of the comment came in from Snarblocks. Great name, by the way. I love Tiny Planet, especially with Mom's Knife. It's right up there with, Ludo, with Ludovico Mom's Knife. It just takes the typical gameplay and flips it on its head. And yeah, that's a that's a great reason to enjoy a combo, uh, and you know just the opposite of what Metal said earlier. And essentially, that's you know I think Tiny Planet definitely has its place uh, in the I don't want to say the upper echelons of Isaac synergies, but it's definitely up there to a certain degree. Um, I'm not going to sit here and try to tell you it's my favorite tier effect of all time because that's definitely not true. Um, but when specifically speaking, because I mean, that was the question of the episode. So specifically speaking about with mom's knife, tiny planet, I think that it makes a good enough combo to really warrant, you know, taking it almost every single time, almost every single time. You know, there are, there are times when if my tears rate is too high or whatever, I may not want tiny planet, um, because I, I already don't like mom's knife with a high tears rate. So, um, but most of the time, I would say the Tiny Planet Mom's Knife is just its an incredible, incredible synergy. And it's one of those rare opportunities where Repentance made something better in terms of synergies. Last but not least, Egg with Legs simply just said funny. There you go on that. I don't know what else to say on that one. <laughs> just said funny. I'm not sure if they, they meant I was being funny or it's a funny combo, but there you go. Very happy to have... Uh, have quince here. That was a very good craft for us. Thought I could, thought I could split the uprights there. Apparently not. Making making boss rush with tainted cane is one of the more difficult things to do in Isaac, just because again it's all random. I need to remember that we've got uh, we've got PhD. I think I I think I consumed two pills there early on. After we had gotten PhD, which is very like me, because PhD is very easy to forget that you have. You do get an angel deal, which is nice. Admittedly, it's it's good. Uh, I'm gonna take some keys here, and I guess I'll put the nickel and bomb. Guns habits gonna get turned into that. Themselves, sure. Godspeed. Shot speed's kind of whatever for Kane. That was a lucky penny. That's good. High tier item. And really, you know, Tainy Kane just it just comes down to just knowing what you can and cannot put in the bag of crafting to make higher tier stuff. Um, you know, runes aren't really considered high tier. Neither really are batteries or bombs. Batteries may be a little bit higher. Coupon, eh. But we'll check the curse room. I know that we have a decent amount of HP. We don't really want coupon. Rotten hearts are definitely not, but I will take pentagram. Absolutely freaking lootly. Anytime you can get damage, a damage upgrade on Tainted Cane, just make that constantly. Now, if you are smart, which I am not, but if you were smart, you would remember what made Pentagram and then simply just make that every single time. <coughs> because you can give yourself technically unlimited. Once you know the recipe for one thing, again, you could take notes if you wanted to um, and say like, hey, I remember that this many hearts and this many keys made this type thing. That's something that you can definitely do. My whole point is that I shouldn't have to do that 
when it comes to like I shouldn't have to, to stop and play a game like Isaac just to take freaking notes, you know? <laughs> like I wish the game would just tell me like what makes what makes what. That would be that'd be nice. Some people may say that's a little bit too easy, that's a little bit too care bear. And I'm not gonna say those people are right or wrong. It's just, you know, it's one one opinion versus another. Um, but I, what I will say is that I would love to not have to be reliant on something like Platinum God or something like the inf the external information mod. So, like, we could, if we wanted to, we could bomb the donation machine and get school bag. But the thing is that it's not going to give us school bag. It's going to give us components. And that's not what we're, I, I want school bag. That would, that would be nice. I think going to be here, by the way. So we're going to go back and we're going to pick up school bag, but not pick up school bag. It's just going to turn into uh, other components. Urban's kiss will take. I, I do have to say, though, after all my gripes with with Kane and Kane, we are we've got a decent little build going here. Um, Quince, you know, Serpent's kiss is great. Obviously, pentagram is huge for us. PhD. I mean, that, that like that's a solid start. For a run but just know that this this is not a typical painted cane star usually it's it's a bunch of items that we normally just don't care about um or or just a bunch of hp upgrades which in and of itself is not terrible obviously but stats are a big problem for tainted cane um, we get a range upgrade here i will take his range is actually kind of bad so i don't mind getting a, a nice little cheap range upgrade Of course, Quince is fantastic, so I'm very, very stoked to have that. I'm very stoked to not have Dunce Cap. So notice right there that that, uh, <clears throat> that half soul heart turned into a full soul heart in the in the bag of crafting. That is also something you can take advantage of, um, especially if you are running low on materials and you don't necessarily need a half soul heart or a half red heart. Um, that's another way to get some good, high quality materials without actually using an entire heart. I wasn't sure if Bumbo was going to actually double back like he usually does there. You want to try to get Bumbo to clear the rocks. Just so you have more room to maneuver when he does this. Nice poison there by Serpent's Kiss as well. Both hormones would have been nice. Um, I do need a key, and we'll just throw on the rest of these. It's going to be Akodama, which I'm not going to take. I guess the... I guess the... Point, yeah, X-ray specs. Way better than Akodama, for sure, in my opinion. Okay. Definitely need to start getting some HP here. Um, a tears rate upgrade would be nice, of course. Kane is not Kane is not known for his uh, his tier his starting tears rate. He's known for his luck and his his movement speed. Though ironically, our luck is zero right now. Gonna take this one bomb as we don't have any. But notice how I use the bag of crafting to actually get that chest without, despite not being able to actually hit it. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to take the soul heart. Aries is gonna give us a movement speed upgrade, and that's fine. We get a key, we will be able to open up that that golden chest with the bag of crafting. So 
we're not doing too bad. I mean, we're not going to make boss rush, obviously, but we're not doing we're not doing terrible. This is definitely not the worst tainted cane run that I've seen. We've seen some real stinkers on tainted cane. Uh, you know, and that and that just comes with the territory with this character. But I I wish I wish there was more positive things I I could say about tainted cane than negative. Um. You know, and, and I only I only really talk about it only because like I just like Kane. You have to understand those of you who've watched me for a long time, you will know that Kane was my favorite character back in in Wrath of the Lamb. I loved playing Kane. He was he was my favorite character by far. You know, you had you had the yeah P or Luckfoot, which gave you basically the PhD effect. You could take pills without without having to worry about anything. Like he was just so much fun to play. Um, so the idea of tainted Kane sounded really cool. It's just that, in principle, his passive just causes more problems than it solves. Um, and I, and you know, and it's it's one of those things where it's like I'm criticizing, but it's it's because I want the character to be better. You know, and I and I do believe that it would be a very easy fix to just simply make it make Tainted Kane's passive a toggle. That that would solve that would solve every problem that I would have. I think with with this character. Uh, we'll go coin here. Teleporter? I mean, we've been having some good luck with Teleporter. I'm not going to lie. Get a Bone Heart. Now, Bone Hearts are pretty... Pretty high tier. We got lucky there. Normally, that wouldn't happen in a secret room, um, as they've changed that. Usually, you, before, back in the good old days, you could actually make it to where you could guarantee a Demon Heart or a Bone Heart drop from, um, from the Bag of Crafting. You can't do that anymore. Um, and that's part of the problem with, with Tainted Cane, but we just got a bone heart in there, so I'm pretty stoked about that, actually. So we might be able to get ourselves a good, good item here. As a bona fide, genuine, some Victor full clear right there. I'm not using teleport, because again, we're not gonna make boss rush here, so I'm not even really concerned about it. And honestly, like Jar of Flies did was was doing gangbusters for us. I am gonna take the soul heart in there. And we get batteries here. Yeah, tears upgrade. Absolutely freaking lootly, dude. Now I'll use teleporters to see where it takes us. The jar of flies did a good job. Helping us out with those early early floors here. Of course, Sack Dagger Sack Dagger was you know, if you have problems. If you have problems, Sack Dagger is here to solve them. As far as damage is concerned, of course, you do have to be careful of your, of, you know, making contact damage and stuff. So, a little cheeky, cheeky damage here with Sack Dagger. Yep. The devil deal. Uh, we'll take a key. We'll just crap the rest. We get meat. Okay. Damage upgrade and HP. Okay. And uh, again, I, I I really truly don't see any any reason to go take devil deals on tainted cane. That is. Um, again, it's just because you don't know what you're gonna craft. use teleport oh ho, ho, baby look at that that's about the only way that you would have a realistic chance of making boss rush uh i'm, I'm just gonna go fight mom now because we can teleport out after we're done with this fight so since we know where the boss room is we might as well go fight her you know we're not we're not locked in here but yeah this is not your typical tainted cane run honestly um this is one of the best ones that we've had in quite a while. And I would love to sit here and say like, oh yeah, we had lots to do with that. That was totally all skill. Uh, but in reality, it's just, we're, it's pure luck right now. <laughs> like we are, we're lucking out that we're getting some really quality crafts out of this, out of this run here. Normally this is not, this is not your typical 
Take the gain run. Which I'm good. Like I'm I'm happy. Like I, I don't want to I don't want to make it seem like I absolutely loathe playing this character. I mean I do in a way, but I also don't because I do think that there is some good that you can get out of Tainted Kane. Um it's just few and far between. And I would, you know, I would much rather see good regular like I wanna I wanna be able to show people that you can get good runs on Tainted Kane. It's just it's so, so hard to do so that it it almost makes it not worth trying sometimes. Just because he is such a chore to play. Um, yeah, well, I don't really want ladder to be honest. Okay, fine. We'll, we'll get the mom transformation. I didn't really want ladder because ladder can sometimes cause some problems. We do, we do start off with a demon heart this time though. That's good. I mean, like, I would much rather show the positives of a character than negatives. Um, I don't think there's any value in really showing the downsides of certain characters. Basic clubs. It gives us a lot of bombs to play with. That's about it. At least we can put a little bit of money back in our donation machine, even though it's not a lot. Who knows? Maybe we'll get a good teleport or two out of this. Start off with a secret room. He's super greed. Nice knockback. Holy crap. That was an amazing knockback there by, uh, by Pisces. Now, I almost screwed up and used the Ace of Clubs accidentally. Don't do that. Um, I will take a couple keys here. I'm just going to pick the money up because we've got a pretty high level amount of components right now. And I don't want to mess with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. All these bombs. All of them. Oh, baby. Now, one thing we could do as well is we could do what I you just saw me do right there with, with Serpent's Kiss. I realize there's some people who probably have already been yelling about that in the comments. Yes, you could, in theory, take Serpent's Kiss and go make a bunch of demon hearts. Um, you just got to be careful doing that. Mainly because, obviously, we have the HP to do it right now. You're not always going to have the HP to do that. We're just running into things with Sack Dagger right now. Okay, yeah, this is this is going to be a this is going to be a real high level item here. But going back to the to the serpent's kiss thing, yes, you could do that. I don't recommend doing that in the end game because the HP goes very very quickly. Um, so just be cautious when you do that. This gives us mom's knife, which I'm gonna take mom's knife. Because I don't know if we're going to get anything better at this point. But that's my that's my whole my whole point about about doing the serpent's kiss thing. If you if you have the build and you have the HP, then sure, go for it. Just be real careful if you do that in the late game stages like we're in right now. Because remember, every single hit is going to cost you a full heart, and you're not always going to be able to get that full heart back. No, we don't want pause. Don't need member card. Monsoon's Revenge. Now you're speaking my language. This feels like the right way, so I'm gonna I'm gonna investigate up here. Okay, maybe not. There's a golden key though. And the golden keys are what is this? Library? Arcade. This is definitely the wrong way to go. We have 19 bombs. Oh, well, maybe not. Hang on now.
Tears up. I actually don't prefer a high tears rate with um with mom's knife. I have a I feel like I have a little bit more control over where the knife goes when I have a, a lower tears rate. Wow, this is the right way. I take that back. I'm sorry I doubted you, teleporter. Good damage. Holy smokes. 50% damage there. I'm just simply dealing contact damage with mom. Do get another angel deal here. I'm probably going to just take the eternal heart. Oh, I didn't see the other one. Yes, I will take stigmata. We have so many bombs here. It is worth it for us to just bomb the fires. Because definitely getting a soul heart would have been nice there, but we didn't. Curse the blind. I don't know what I was waiting for there. I thought maybe that we were going to get some help from Montuma's Revenge, but... Should have known that like they were like four million light years away from us, so that was not going to work out for us. The golden key, another one. Wow. Um, don't know what this is going to create, however. I feel like this is the right way to go, but we could be double backing. Hard to tell. Yeah, we were double backing. And yeah, we just got HP. That's fine. I mean, more red hearts. Honestly, to be to be totally honest, you want to be building uh, a red heart build with Tainted Cane, in my opinion. Just because you're going to see so many red hearts from the item pedestals that you're probably not going to use for anything other than just crafting low... Low... Uh, Low tier items anyway. Being a little bit aggressive here. Overly aggressive with Sack Dagger, but I don't mind taking a couple hits because remember, we're going to see a lot of hearts coming up in the chest here. Wow, look at that. We get ourselves a, a, a demon heart after poisoning Isaac. All right, teleport. You know what to do. Oh, baby. Okay, so we got a really good opportunity here to make one really strong item. The nail? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. What's a heart going to do? Ocular Rift? Ooh, wait, wait, wait. There's a Lucky Penny here. I didn't see that. <laughs> okay. Eh, all right. So we end up getting Knife Stone. Definitely fine with that. All things considered. This, I mean, like, honestly, th this turned out to be a really good Tainted Cane run. It's it's refreshing to see a good Tainted Cane run for once. And I'm glad we at least got to showcase a run that wasn't, like, just all terrible and, and not fun. You know, this it was fun. It was legitimately fun. I think we did, we, we did get lucky with a lot of our components. Um, but, you know, it's not all doom and gloom when you play Tainted Cane. It is possible to have a fun run, and we just had that today. So I think I'm just going to wrap it up there. Uh, definitely happy to have that one over with. But again, I am also happy to have been able to show that it is possible to have fun with Tainted Cane. 
Um, you know, it's kind of just make up your own fun with them. But your question of the episode today is going to be, what are your thoughts on being able to turn the passive on or off for Tainted Kane? Do you think it would improve the character tenfold? Do you think it's a terrible idea? Do you have a better idea to make Tainted Kane just feel more fun and alive and just truly a better character? Post them in the comments down below. Have a great start to your week, everybody. Thank you again for all the support. And as always, I'll see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some patrons of mine like Herman Haynes, Shock Top, and Nicholas. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find at patreon.com slash Invicta.